Tonight, the mother of a murdered Richland County woman is looking to turn the tragedy into a rallying cry against domestic violence. Winter Straw's family confirmed she was killed in last night's multi-hour standoff between deputies and a barricaded man. Richland County Sheriff's deputies say they found Straw dead outside before starting negotiations with the suspect. So this happened on the 700 block of Mallet Hill Road in Richland County. That's on the northeast side. Chris Joseph spoke with Winter's mom today. LaShawn Williams is the mother of Winter Straw and described Straw's murder as a shock and a betrayal. She says she's now turning her energy to taking on domestic violence. She uh, was a good friend, good sister, great daughter, all around just a, just a good person, a rising star. LaShawn Williams spoke lovingly of her daughter, Winter Straw, describing her as determined and community driven. She says the family welcomed the man and there were never any signs of mistreatment. We didn't see any signs, no signals. It wasn't like she was coming around us with black eyes or anything like that. So there was none of that. Making the murder a shock. It is definitely a betrayal because this man looked me in my eyes all the time. And whenever I would talk to him, I'd say, I'm giving you my child a wholehearted, bubbly personality. And that's how I want to get her back. And he always assured me he would never do anything to hurt my child. She says Winter's death has given the family a new purpose. We want to make it clear, real clear. Domestic violence is not a joke. It's not something that we should take lightly. For those of you that are posting on Facebook and doing all that unnecessary stuff, I don't care what a person does to you. You don't have the right to take her life. You don't have the right to put your hands on nobody. County officials have not confirmed the name of the suspect, but the sheriff's department did report he died in the hospital overnight from what appeared to be a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Williams says that the family will be hosting a vigil this evening for straw at the Carrington Place at Wildwood Apartment Homes at 630. Reporting in Richland County, Chris Joseph, WIS News 10. If you're a victim of domestic violence, you can reach out to the National Domestic Violence Hotline. We have that number right here on your screen.